I don't think the program is working for me. Oh. But when can I be a normal person? It doesn't work that way. My drinking started when my ex threatened nightly to leave me. You deserve to be treated better than that. When I started drinking heavily, I brought the camels back. Oh, sweetheart. My ex made you want to drink, but I didn't. <laughs> I can sit here today and say it's been eight months since I've been sober. Well, you can all take a lesson for me. You see, I wanted to drink, but I didn't use anyone as an excuse. Speaking of the devil, and don't forget Saturday for my elementary wife party. I have to be honest. I think your decision to leave is premature. She's right, babe. Don't you love yourself? Hey, I thought I entered the Cabin Dragon instead of waiting. I thought I told you I'd meet you at sight. Sam, this is Maddie. Maddie? Ellen Anderson, the writer? Uh-huh. She's my friend. I never read that you went by a different name. All of her friends call her Maddie. I've read all of your novels. I, I'm still waiting for the next one. I took a much needed break. Um, Cindy, you never told me that you know my favorite writer. Well, confidentiality is one of my better qualities. Well, you don't have to worry, Madeline. Your secret is safe with me. You too? No. No more us two. You can call me Maddie as well. <laughs> Care for coffee? That would be great. I'm sorry, Cindy. I want to get a no on mine. Leo's coffee, say 7 p.m.? I love that. Oh, really? My second book was an accident. I mean, but the similarities with the vultures and Cindy, it's, it's incredible. Really? I mean, did you base it on her? Cindy, uh, to be honest, um, my ex inspired me. <laughs> it's like they're birds of a feather. <laughs> Speaking of birds, uh, excuse me for a second. And don't forget the school play next week. Yeah, I, I gotta go. Sorry about that. I, she had to tell me something that I already know. That's all right. Hello? Hi, Maddie. I, uh, I got over you by mistake. <laughs> you must have been thinking about me. Sam just begged me for another chance. Um, that, that's good to know. Let me call you tomorrow. That was a surprise call from an old friend. It's <laughs> good. I had a nice time tonight. So did I. I can smell it. It's nothing. I can record at any time. Alright, this is why you haven't been writing any novels. 
I'll get back on track. <laughs> Look, I... I like you, but... If you can't love yourself, I... I can't be with you. Please, you... You need help. Go back to the clinic. But you have to love yourself. Sam is begging for another chance. She's right, babe. Don't you love yourself? If you can't love yourself, I, I can't be with you. But you have to love yourself.